Welcome back. We blame the monsoon for a lot of things around here. A lot of dust and uncomfortable and muggy days and nights. Yeah, but none of that is as bad as what the monsoon does to a lot of people around Arizona. And for them, it's a real headache. Team 12's Vanessa Ramirez has that story. It feels like you have a man inside your head with a jackhammer. And then I get a little bit of nausea when they're very severe. These women are just two of the scores of Arizonans who face migraine headaches, especially this time of year. Just ask Dr. Eric E. Ross from the Phoenix Head Institute. You know, headache is, is one of the most common neurologic conditions uh, that we see. Uh, and in fact, um, it results in a great deal of disability. In fact, more disability than any other neurologic condition. So what causes a migraine? Well, you get a poor night's sleep, or maybe you try to sleep in on a weekend. That represents a change from that balance. Um, other things becoming dehydrated, alcohol consumption is a, a frequent uh, trigger for, for migraine headache. Can the change in weather really cause a migraine? I would say the answer is yes. And weather patterns are one of the most common triggers that migraineurs or individuals with migraine state provoke their migraine attacks. Oh, monsoon season? Ever since I came to Arizona, monsoon season has been the worst. So how do you know if you're dealing with a migraine or a sinus headache? Many times migraine is mistaken as sinus headache or allergy headache. And so migraine is a true neurologic event that's occurring that involves head pain, but usually involves other neurologic symptoms like light and sound sensitivity, for example. It also can involve pounding or throbbing pain that's made worse with physical exertion or activity. Another factor to consider when dealing with the migraine is your family history. Both my mother and my father have migraines and my grandmother had migraines. My mom actually had migraines all through my childhood. I remember her getting them. If you are experiencing headaches, Jacqueline and Peggy have some advice for you. For me, ice works better than heat. I make sure I'm plenty hydrated. And again, if I can use my lunch hour to sneak in a quick nap and just rest my eyes a little bit, that always gives me some relief too. In Scottsdale, Vanessa Ramirez, 12 News. The American Headache Society says that if you're having frequent headaches, so something maybe like three days a month or so, that you should really see a doctor and try to get a diagnosis and a treatment.